Election is an amazingly powerful thing. Okay? Perspective is an amazingly powerful thing. All right? Now, reflection. Simple. Just, just looking at what you've done. All right? It could be reflecting on something you did that you need to fix. It could be reflecting on something that you did that you need to just recognize how awesome it was and, 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 and what you did. Okay? A reflection can be an amazingly powerful thing. Most people don't learn to reflect until they get a little bit older. Okay? All right? Because we're either so busy chasing or we're in denial about the stuff we maybe didn't do that we don't want to stop for a second and just take a look back and just be like, you know what, man? I've killed it this week. You know what, man? I've really put a lot of heart and soul into my environment and the people around me. That makes me feel good. There's absolutely nothing wrong with that. Absolutely nothing wrong with reflecting on stuff. But you also got to reflect on, man, you know what? I wasn't a great big brother this week. I was, I was kind of a turd to my little brother all week long, and I need to fix that. All right? You know what that, you know what that is? That's self-awareness. Okay? This has nothing to do with wrestling. All right? That's self-awareness. Being self-aware of your strengths, your weaknesses, your failures, your successes, and being able to look at them and take away stuff from them. Do I need to make adjustments? Do I need to just feel real good for the day about what I did? All right? That's powerful, guys. That's a powerful thing that you can start developing now, and it might start on a real little level. It just might be like, you know what? Self-awareness is going to be me doing what, everything I'm told when I'm at home the very first time. All right? I'm not going to wait the third time to take out the trash. I'm going to be self-aware that I struggle with that. And when my dad or mom asked me to take the trash out, I'm going to stop what I'm doing and I'm going to do it. Okay? And I'm going to be self-aware when I didn't have to go to that extra practice and there was a lot of stuff going on and I could make an excuse to go to that extra practice or I could make an excuse to eat the food that I'm not supposed to eat or watch the shows that I'm not supposed to watch or, or, or consume the music that I probably shouldn't be consuming. All right? I'm going to be self-aware enough to know that, that that stuff I'm consuming doesn't get me to where I want to go. Okay? So reflection. Super important. Super important. Now perspective. All right? Now something I was talking to Coach about last night. We're talking about creativity. Me and him had an awesome talk last night. I wish I would have just filmed it or, or, or <laughs> just recorded the audio. We talked for about, what, three hours last night, Coach? Yeah. Just talking. And it wasn't all about wrestling. It was all about just being a human being and staying motivated and just trying to figure out this whole scientific thing. Because some of it is scientific, right? Right? But when we're talking about self-awareness and, and perspective and reflection, perspective can be a powerful thing because it's just the way you look at something, right? So you've got a di bunch of different coaches that have come in here. A bunch of different coaches coach a bunch of different ways, right? So a Bill Longa might not coach the same as Arnold, and Arnold might not coach the same as, same as, co as, as Andy, right? But, they, but you know why they don't? Because they look at things a different way. Everybody looks through the world through a different lens, right? But when I talk about creativity, creativity is the ability to just kind of step and circle and be like, I'm going to look at this from a different angle. Or I'm going to look at this from a different angle. I'm just going to come over here and I'm going to look at it from the side. I'm going to look at it from the bottom. I'm going to look at it from the top, okay? Because I tell you right now, if you do this your whole life, all right, you're going to wake up one day and look around and be like, holy smokes, there was like stuff out here on the side? Like, I've just been looking at what's in front of me the whole time. There's stuff behind me, right? Perspective can be an amazingly powerful thing, all right? So when I talk about creativity, I'm talking about the way you look through the world and your lens. Sometimes our lens is just focused straight ahead, man. we got to open that lens up, and we got to start looking at everything around us, all right? That's the number one thing that the best coaches and the best entertainers and the best inventors and the best businessmen that I've ever been around or read about or watched a video about, they're amazing at looking at the world, their business, their product, their idea, their dream, their goals through a bunch of different lenses, a bunch of different perspectives. And that's creativity. Creativity and drawing pictures, yeah, it is. That's artistic. Creativity is being able to look at things, observe things, process, and put things back in the world through a different lens. So I'm telling you guys, perspective and reflection can be two of the most powerful things that you take forward. And you add some purposeful work, and you add a lot of this other stuff, man, you're a powerful human being.
literally can think where other people aren't willing to. Okay? I'm talking about your brain right now. I'm not talking about your body. Purposeful work is a lot of physical stuff, right? It's engaged here and here. When I talk about perspective, it's a lot of this. All right? So you got that one friend that wants to argue about something and only sees it one way, right? We all got that person. Might even have that relative, that crazy uncle. Man, he just wants to talk about one thing and he only wants to see it one way. And if you disagree with him, it's an argument for 20 hours, right? Some people just don't look, through, look, look from a different perspective. And a lot of people look at just wrong and right, black and white, all right? But again, like I said, man, we got to open that up, okay? And when you open it up and you start looking around you, you're going to see a lot more stuff. You're going to see more opportunity. You're going to see things that, that you never saw before that you can start creating your own, all right? You can be innovative, all right? And the most important thing is, man, your life's going to be fresh. Your life's going to stay fresh. <laughs> Because when you go to practice five days a week and go to school five days a week, you got tournaments on the weekend, you got chores at home, and you got homework and projects and all that stuff, man, that just becomes a routine. I just wake up and I just do it. And then I just come home and I wake up and I do it. But when your perspective changes, all right, things are fresh, all right, it's easier to motivate yourself. It's easier to motivate those around you, all right? So I want you guys to think about that. How do I look at the world? Can I look at the world different, differently, all right? Do I, do, I, do I go home tonight and just sit in my bed and turn off the TV and turn off the music and just be like, you know what, dude? I'm going to feel good about myself because I put in 15 hours worth of purposeful work in three days. Some guys will go an entire summer and not put 15 minutes worth of work into what they're doing. To anything, right? So reflection is powerful. But hey, it goes both ways. you got to reflect on the stuff you need to improve on as well, right? Didn't do that report you were supposed to. Didn't do what your parents asked you to. You're where you're supposed to be. You're not where you're supposed to be when you said you were supposed to be. You got to reflect on that stuff too. And then you got to own it. You got to own your wins, own your losses. All right? Own them. Own them. All right? Own them. Own your wins, own your losses. Perspective, reflection. Think about it tonight. Even you little guys. You guys look through the world. It's such a different creative lens. I love, I love the little guys. All right? You guys are the most creative out of the whole bunch. Right? Because you hadn't been you hadn't been conditioned with all this other stuff that the older guys have, whether it's music or parents or relatives or, or peers. Right? Because you're the sum of the five people you spend the most amount of time with. You think about the five people you spend the most amount of time with. Right? You probably eat, eat at the same places, listen to the same music, watch the same shows, play the same video games. Because those five people are part of your environment. Now it could be really, really good. Those five people could be really, really bad. And it might not be all just your friends. It might be two friends, your mom and your dad, and somebody else. But you are the sum of the five people you spend the most amount of time with. So if I want to reflect on that, I need to reflect on, hey, who are those five people? And are they adding value to me chasing my dreams? And vice versa, am I adding value to them chasing theirs? And if they're dead weight, might need to make a decision, right? If they're dead weight, you might need to make a decision. But I challenge you guys to just take some time and reflect on what you've done, be proud of it, and reflect on what you need to fix and get to work, all right? And then start, start changing your perspective on things. I'm not saying one day I believe in this and then the next day I don't believe in it. That's not what I'm asking you to. I'm just talking, hey, look at it through a different lens. Look at a wrestling move through a different lens. Look at a relationship through a different lens. Look at your schoolwork through a different lens. You could probably get excited about being good at math if you wanted to. I hate math. Right? All right? Does that make sense to you guys? Okay? Just looking at things different and seeing what math can provide to my education as I go on to be a rocket science. Whatever. All right? So reflection and perspective. I really want you guys to spend some time thinking about that tonight. We good? Hey, after we think about it tonight, we keep applying it down the road, all right? Because again, we only got these handlers guiding us through life for so long, right? So we got to start owning some of it. Got it? Great day today.